all four important religious set of ancient India are represented in this case. In this cave, you are not going to find any other caves in ancient India. Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Plutus IS. Uh, in the last video, we had discussed about postmodern art, in, in which basically we talked about that there were three types of schools after the modern India. One school was Kandhar, another was Mathura, and third was Amaravati. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the important topic upon which the question had already been asked in UPSC examination related to caves and its painting in ancient India. Okay. So what is cave painting? Let us have a look on question and then we will discuss the topic and then in the last we will try to solve the question. So uh, we will have a look at question on the caves. So one question is that there are only two known examples of cave paintings of the Gupta period in ancient India. One of these is the painting of Ajanta. One painting is of Ajanta caves. Where is the other surviving examples of Gupta painting? Okay. So what is the example? Bath, cave, Bath caves, Elora caves, Lomandesi cave and Nasik caves. You please answer this question and comment in YouTube link. We will solve this in the last. Other questions that I have taken from previous year question is this. Consider the following statements regarding the Mauryan cave. This, there are two statements here. A statement one is that the caves during the modern period were marked by highly polished finish of the interior. Walls. The statement two is there were inscribed by Buddhist monks. So these caves which were made by the during the time of the modern empire were inscribed by Buddhist monks under the patronage of the Vaka Taka kings. Okay. There are two statements. So which of the statements are true or false? The statement option one is only one, only two, both are correct and neither one or two. So please comment this. Please answer this question in the comment. We will discuss in the last. Question 3 is considered the following statements regarding the Alora Caves. So Alora Caves which are situated in Maharashtra, Maharashtra and uh, along with Alora Caves we have Ajanta Caves also. So question is it is a group of 30 caves, it is true, which includes 5 Buddhist caves you have to discuss okay. So in the in the Alora Caves we have Brahmanical, we have Brahmanical traditions, then we have Buddhist also. So Buddhism is also there, and in the last, we also have Jainism. We also have Jainism. So we have to discuss these things. Okay. The second statement is that a Lora complex was designed, designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This is true. But the question is asking in 1993. So what is the answer of this question? Only one statement is true, only two or both of the statements are true or neither one and two. So you have to answer this question. Let us see the mains examination question that may come sometime in GS paper one also and history optional paper also. So we will discuss this question. The question is caves are the important source of ancient Indian culture and history. The caves are the important source of ancient Indian culture and history. So point is doubt how are we going to answer this question. So first of all, if this question is asked in 150 words, both in GS paper one because this is important from art and culture perspective, 150 words my questions can be asked. So how are we going to answer this question? We will take up this question through we will write introduction. Firstly, we will write introduction and in the introductions we are going to say that what is caves? What is caves? Caves hota kya hai? And it was what is cave? And it was made for which purpose? So caves were made for which purposes? So we are going to write in the introductions of this question. Then in the body, in the body of the answer, we are going to take some examples of caves. So we will take up the some of the examples of caves. So one such examples may be Parwar caves in Bihar, other may be 
उदयगिरी केब्स उदयगिरी केब्स अदर में भी अजंता देन इलोरा बदामी बदामी केब्स बदामी केब टेम्पल्स ओके एंड सो एंड एंड सो वन ओके सो दे एंड बाघ केब्स वी कैन राइट बाघ केब्स इन मध्य प्रदेश so these are the sense and then in the last in the examples ke baad what is the information given in the tips what is the information given in this caves so you can take up about what is the specialties of barbara barbara caves udagiri caves ajanta caves ilora caves badami and bag caves and then we can write the conclusion yes that the caves are very important source of ancient indian history and culture okay so we can write conclusion after this one so in this video we will uh, discuss some of the important caves which were made in the ancient period okay and we will discuss some of the important and which were made by which why these caves are famous what is the important specifications of the cave so we are going to discuss these things in this short video all right so if you see these are the major caves that we are going to discuss Barbara Caves, Tarle Caves, Kanheri Caves, Udayagiri Caves, Nasik Caves, Bath Caves, Ajanta Caves, Ilora Caves, Badami Cave Temples, and Elephanta Caves. These are the important caves. So the point is that how caves are being made. How caves are being made. So caves are made through two purpose, through two method. Hai na? So method of caves being made. So firstly, there is a large stone. There is a large stone. so the large stone is cut through two method how so large stones will be cut so either we cut the large stone so cutting method and other will be carving so we carve it cutting or carving method will be used will be used in order to make caves so let us see some examples of the how caves are being made here if you see this cave i will give, so here is a cave so this is a large stone this is a large stone okay this is a large stone so what is happening in this large stone how caves are being so this is a large stone so these large stones are cut it through this method so large stones had cut it or carve it so we will carve the large stone and then within the large stone these are the structures which have been made okay so we have a example of barbara caves which is situated in bihar this is from bihar so how if you see these examples then you find that these are the structures have been carved from one stone from one stone that example is within the caves So this Barbara Caves is so much famous because it is one of the earliest oldest caves in Indian subcontinent. It was made by Maurya. It was made by Maurya, and especially the successor of Asoka and uh, successor of Asoka, and especially it is said that this was completed by Dasarath, who was grandson of Asoka. The most important feature of this cave is that we have a representation of Buddhism, Jainism, Ajivika, and Brahminism. all four in all four important religious set of ancient india are represented in this case in this cave you are not going to find any other caves in ancient india which represent all these four aspects together okay so these are the main examples this is a especially a statue from this cave the other cave in ancient india was made uh, especially in this time it is made near pune and this cave is known as tarle caves and this is a chatya this is a chatya where the people is to say tarle caves were built in the first century ad and it is near pune the this is a chatya so chatya at the tarle is carved at 124 feet deep into one rock so the rock is above the rock is above and this is 124 deep 124 feet deep 124 feet deep in the rock and this chatya is the largest rock cut chatya in india so you know that there are in the chatya chatya is especially a 
प्लेस वेअर द बुद्धिस्ट वर्शिप देअर बुद्धा है ना पुणे Tanheri caves. So, if you see this cave, Tanheri caves. So, it has also a direct chatya. So, this is a tra- chatya made. And if you can see, so this is one stone. This is one stone from which these the areas have been cut, carved out. And then these are the statues, the Buddhist statues, are have been made in this chatya. And this is the great example. You can see that this is a one large stone. in which this cave is existing and these all figures have been taken from these caves only okay what is the main uh, specification of these caves tanheri caves near bombay okay it is near bombay and we are basically present that the chatyas are very very important in this cave these are these are chatya where the the people is to meet and worship there are total 109 caves out of bas made out made out of basalt rock here and chatya are the biggest caves in this writings and we see that bodhisattva is seen in these caves these are the statues related to buddhism that is why we can say that these caves were influenced by mahayana tradition of buddhism because the images of buddha had been pointed out on the walls of these caves okay so let us see other caves which are famous in ancient india other caves are udayagiri and khanderi caves so this is a building this is made of a stone and this is a hathi gupa inscription in udayagiri caves and you find these are the jain tirthankars jain tirthankars are represented on this caves and this is a very famous hathi gupa inscription which was made by king tharvel from this Udayagiri caves. The question sometimes have been asked that Hathi Gupa inscription is a part of which caves? So this will be a part of Udayagiri caves in situated in Odisha. So what is the main features of this cave? Ha- Udayagiri caves are located near Bhubaneswar in Odisha, and this was constructed by King Tharvel of Chedi dynasty. Chedi dynasty. The Chedi dynasty was established in Kalinga in Kalinga. after the decline after the decline of mauryan empire mauryan empire these caves are thought to be the serving points as a living quarters of jain monks these udayagiri caves had basically 18 caves it has 18 caves in numbers which include rani gupha ganesh gupha hathi gupha vyadar gupha etc and the rani gupha is the largest gupha in this cave that is available okay then khandari has a 15 caves So Udayagiri has uh, 18 caves, Thandari has 15 caves, and most important point is that we have a Varaha Mandap and Mahisa Mandap situated at this cave. This also represents that the god Vishnu of Hinduism is resting. Uh, a statue is found in this cave where Vishnu is resting upon Seshnag. Okay, and other feature also find that Krishna, a panel of Krishna is shown. Krishna god shown. where he is especially uh, like depicts that the he had lifted govardhan parvat which is there in mathura okay so these type of statues have been carved and made in this hathi gupa inscriptions and uh, hathi gupa caves which are a part of udayagiri and thandari caves so there are uh, more than it is, so it is 18 plus 15 that is total 33 caves are available in both udayagiri and Angeli caves, which is situated in Odisha. If we see the other examples, what we find, we have a bath caves in Madhya Pradesh. These caves are basically nine rock cut monuments located at these times near. It is near to Ajanta also. All the caves are Bihar, and only five of nine caves are will surviving. So these caves belong to Buddhism. Okay, what we find, these caves are known for their mural paintings. so this is a example of this uh, bath caves and these are the mural painting wall paintings upon uh, buddhist writings have been 
shown in this case in this sense a procession of elephants and a scene of dancer and women musicians have been depicted on the walls of this bas bas caves which is situated at madhya pradesh region okay so if we go further what are we going to find is ajanta caves okay in ajanta ajanta cave is a most important cave and this cave re, uh, represents only the buddhist idea you should also note that this does not talk about all the religions okay so this is the cave ajanta caves was made for about uh, let's say like it is made in a period of about 800 years it was not made by one king so this was started by making by satvana in the second century bc and it was completed by the last vata tata ruler harisen so this was completed by the last vata tata ruler harisen but we see that in all in this cave there are 29 caves okay there are 29 caves in this 29 caves we find out of 29 25 is bihar and four is vatya bihar where the monks are living where the monks lives monks live and chatya where the worship is happening worship is happening so these are the main examples of ajanta caves and this is the main uh, we can see that this is a rock from where the caves have been inscribed okay so this is examples this is a influential of uh, mahayana buddhism because bodhisattva paintings and statues have been made on the walls of ajanta cave and this is a major example of the painting which is from ajanta caves if we see the other important cave that is elora so elora caves this is a example of elora caves so basically there are three religion represented on elora and in this three religion 13 uh, especially 34 caves are there so there are 34 caves in the elora out of this 34 17 belongs to brahmanism 17 to brahmanism 12 to buddhism and 5 to jainism okay and this was especially made in the 5th and 11th century ad and this was made by various guilds especially it was made by uh, we can say uh, chalukya rajputs and all have made these caves which is situated in maharashtra region okay so these are the main examples of and in this do you know the kalas temple kalas nath temple is the most important example and this is the world largest this is a world largest single world largest monolithic monolithic temple matlab this is made from one temple this telatna temple is carved out from one stone so this is the largest stone this temple is made by uh, these people made of one stone and this belongs to jainism this belongs to jainism so we have a brahmanism jainism and buddhism all these things are found in this caves okay if we see the other cave that is a cave called badami cave temples and elephanta caves near mumbai so badami te- a cave temple were made by uh, chalukya why this cave is famous because here we represent that there are three brahmanical traditions and one jain traditions have been found in this cave and lord vishnu is also depicted in this cave so this is a example of badami cave temples here we found nataraj is dancing over shiva so nataraj example is found from this cave then we also found that a uh, tirthankar parshavnath is there in this cave and this is a statue of vishnu so vishnu nataraj and these all things are found in this cave so badami cave temples were made by uh, chalukya it is near Karna- it is in karnataka it represents brahmanical and jain traditions okay and then if we discuss about the elephanta caves near mumbai what we see in this cave this was constructed by kala churi in the mid 6th century it was a myth of architecture and a temple is opening in the three sides and this is a, a stone this is a stone from where the caves are with side what we found in this elephanta caves is that we found tri murti shiva है ना त्रिमूर्ति त्रिमूर्ति शिवा दैट इज अ सदा शिवा सो सदा शिवा इज फाउंड इन दिस केव सो दिस इज अ सदा शिवा द वेयर देयर आर थ्री हेड है ना त्रिमूर्ति इज देयर एंड जस्ट इन द राइट साइड ऑफ सदा शिवा 
वी फाइंड दैट रंधार हैड बीन देयर है ना इन द राइट वी फाइंड द इमेज ऑफ रंधार इज फाउंड एंड वी आल्सो फाउंड अर्ध नारिस अर्ध नारिसवरा अर्ध नारिसवा मतलब हाफ ऑफ द पार्वती हाफ पार्वती एंड हाफ शिवा इज फाउंड है ना सो अर्ध नारिसवरा इज फाउंड इन दिस टेंपल सो वेयर इज अर्ध नारिसवर फाउंड अर्ध narisvara found is in the elephanta caves near mumbai so these are the major examples of caves in ancient india okay so what we see the first cave that we discuss barbara which represents all four religion ajanta represents only one religion okay and so let us now solve the three objective questions we have taught in the beginning so if you remember the first question that we can discuss Uh, there are only two known examples of cave paintings of the Gupta period in ancient India. One of these is the paintings of Ajanta, and what is the other? So, if you remember, this Elora caves. When was it made? If let us go to the sea, so that you can have a look at Elora caves. Okay. So, what you find? Elora caves were made in the fifth and the eleventh century by various. Okay. So, Gupta in the time of Gupta, Elora caves was not there. Okay. सो इलोरा विल नॉट बी द एग्जाम्पल हमारा इलोरा नहीं होगा लोमस ऋषि केव लोमस ऋषि केव इज एस्पेशली इज एवेलेबल इन बरबरा केव सो इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ लोमस ऋषि गेट दिस इज ए लोमस ऋषि गेट इज अ बरबरा केव सो दिस वॉज मेड बाई मौर्या सो द लोमस ऋषि विल ऑल्सो विल नॉट बी एग्जाम्पल फॉर अस है ना and nasik cave will also will not work. so the most important the vat cave will be example which was made by the gupta time and this is in the madhya pradesh region okay and also gupta were not ruling over these regions nasik and uh, elora so the, the answer of this question will be vat caves let us see the other question if you see this question the caves during the modern period barbara caves see the ones examples they were highly polished finish of the interior walls okay so barbara caves ke example dekhne mein there is a highly polished and interior walls are found so this statement will be true so this statement will be true for us they were inscribed by buddhist monks under the patronage of vaka tata kings no because they were ruling after second century uh, they were ruling in the third century ad and these the mauryas were from different times so these were made by the state so this statement too will be false because this was not inscribed by buddhist monks and not under the patronage of vatakata kings because vatakata will be ruling in the third century ad to fourth century fifth century ad so second statement will be false for us so the answer for us will be only one so only one will be the answer of this question If we see the question third, we discuss that it was a group of thirty-four caves, which includes five Buddhist caves. So, do you know this statement will be false? Why false? Let me take you to Alora caves that we discussed just now. If you remember uh, Alora caves, then what you find? There are five Jain. There are five Jain caves and twelve Buddhist. caves so but in the state so there are 12 buddhist caves and five jain caves so this statement a statement uh this statement will be false because it should be 12 not 5 so this statement will be false for us elora complex was designated as a unesco world heritage site this is true but this was done in 1983 this was done in 1983 not 93 so this statement will also be false so in this answer the answer will be neither one or two so d will be the answer neither one and two so this is the main examples we are going to find here so now let us come to this point so we see that the caves are important source of ancient indian culture so we know that what is the culture balwara caves we belong to all four religions udaygiri caves hum examples in the udaygiri caves we find hinduism also we find jainism also Ajanta caves belong to Buddhism only. Elora caves, all three religions are present, है ना? Badam, Badami, the Hinduism plus Jainism is found, and Bagh temples. So, so these are the major things we should include in these writings, and these are the examples we talked about, and in this way we can solve this question. All right. 
सो आई होप यू यू वर एबल टू आंसर ऑल दिस थ्री ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन करेक्टली इफ नो इट्स ओके यू प्रिपेयर हार्ड फॉर दिस यू ऑल्स यू कैन ऑल्सो कमेंट वाट एवर यू नीड लाइक इफ यू वॉन्ट मी टू मेक एनी वीडियोज ऑन एनी सच टॉपिक यू कैन कमेंट हेयर आई विल बी ब्रिंग इन न्यू वीडियोज ऑन द टॉपिक Uh, in another video i will bring some important interesting aspect of ancient india or other topics of indian and world history all right so we'll see you soon through video thank you so much